Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Deltarune, the Switch version. Why am I playing the Switch version when I've already played the PC version? Well, there's still a whole nother line of things I could have done in Deltarune, and I didn't get to do it. So we're gonna fight everything. Violently. This is gonna be a violence run. Are you there? No. No, I am not there. Also, I just really wanted to play something on the Switch today, so... Are we connected? No, I think my Wi-Fi is off. Ah. Hello. Excellent. I need to turn my volume up. My TV's on volume two. Truly excellent. Now... We may begin. Okay, so if you've watched the, my playthrough on Delta Rune for PC, none of this beginning stuff matters, so I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, we're back. Chris! Oh, I named myself Kara by mistake. It's been a while since I played Delta Rune, I'm sorry. Hello, Goat Mom, how's it going? I will wait outside for you, alright? Okay. I'm gonna go commit acts of violence later. That's- that's fine, right? I also just realized that I kind of made my character almost exactly like cr how Chris looks. And they didn't comment on anything. Is there anything... ...that I should probably check while I- since I haven't actually been through every nook and cranny of this game? Uh... Do I just go out? I think I just go out. Okay. Oh, they got a nice little border and stuff, and I'm totally blocking part of the game. But it's fine, I'm not blocking anything important. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? Ow, my leg. I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. It probably won't. But it's fine. After the excitement of university, Will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Of course he will! Have you never been- Have you never had an exciting life and just really wanted to sleep? Eh, I mean, now I need to turn the game down, because it's loud. I wish the game was in my headphones, but it's not. It's on my TV speakers. Which is fine. I swear, this is the- This looks almost exactly like the school from the end credits of Undertale. By the way, the spoiler! Toriel becomes a teacher or something. This is unrelated to Undertale slightly, though. This isn't a sequel or a prequel, it's just an alternate thing. So does everyone have a... Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Hi, Tammy. You have an egg. Is the egg- does the egg have a partner? It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. <laughs> Shit. Hey, monster kid, or monster teen, or whatever you want to be called. You end up ha having to partner with Snowy, heh. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Does he? Partner. I hardly know her. Ha. <laughs> What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No. Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. If I had said yes, would that have been a part- Would that have been worthy of a partner? Let's see. These two are partners, these two are partners, these two are partners, these two are partners. So I've got nobody. I've got to wait for a person. Could we not, like... Yeah, I want to be partners. Birdly already asked me, but I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make it a group of three. I'm sure if you want. Um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No! I do not approve of this! Abort! Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Well, that was quick. Uh, hi, Susie. Should the font be that small? 
Is that a bug, or is, like, is that the font of uncertainty? Am I late? Oh, no, you're fine. We were just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and, uh, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. I don't remember what voice I gave Susie. I think I gave Susie a regular voice. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Someone doesn't have chalk, do they? Has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... You know, I can't start class without some. I guess we should probably go find some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. Do you really trust uh, Susie to do that? Chris, can you go with her and make sure she uh, actually gets it and uh, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Okay, fine. Maybe I could be partners with the flower pot. Well, at least you're not smoking cigarettes. Like someone with your appearance totally would in high school, I assume. Chris? Didn't see you there. I mean, that's fine if you want to eat chalk, but like... There's other foods. Like burritos. Or hoagies? What? What were you banned from? Hoagies? Burritos? Tacos? What were you banned from at the cafeteria? You didn't see anything just now, did you? I don't care. I can't reply. I'm being controlled by a... by a fat neckbeard... who's almost 30. <laughs> can't even say? No, I can't. Chris? Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh. Quiet people piss me off. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance, now she'll finally be expelled! <laughs> Come on, brother. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris, you got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel... ...about losing your face? Yeah, you're not gonna do it. Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Nah, you just wanted to bluff. Because you don't actually want to commit violence, you just don't want to be fucked with. Or rather, you see that as, like, a, a, th a way to, like, get ahead in the world, yet that's not how that works. So when you finally do... do something brash... If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. I mean, my choice to us... Uh... You look through the frosted window. A blurry yellow object is teaching a bunch of blurry, bored-looking objects. Well, shit. Locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Jockington? Actually, what's this way? Chris? What, realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Can I get some water? People put their mouth on that, you know. That's gross. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. I used to walk around with someone without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. 
You're an asshole. And you're still an asshole by the end of the game, too. You're just less of an asshole. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. What voice did I give you initially? I can't find the right pitch anymore. Oh my god, the door is darkness. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? I'd say it's the door to darkness. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? I don't wanna go in. Fine, if you're gonna be a whip, then I'll. Yeah, you're not gonna go in, are you? We're both going at the same time. I mean, I'm fine with that. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try and find a light switch. No, I'm trying to find the light switch. The light switch would be near the door, and not at all anywhere else, because that's not where light switches are. Guess it's further in. Or not. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You think we'd have reached the end by now? Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Uh... What the... Hey, this isn't funny! Let us out! Let us... Eh. The floor, it's... Uh-oh. So Susie just had one of those, uh... Looney Tunes moments where you look around and then down and then you realize the floor's gone and then gravity just fucking takes over. I like it. It's a nice touch. Hey. Hello. Can I move? Yay! Let me let me move. Uh, what do I have? I have a wood blade. Cool. I'm going to be using it a lot. Anything else I should note? Simplify VFX, sure. Auto run, yes. Because when am I never going to auto run? At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... ...manage to save. Now we're dude run. I should have named myself Chris. Ah. Uh. There's goopy holes and shit. He can be used to make calls. He tried to call on the cell phone. Yeah, still doing that, I see. Still doing that, good. But it doesn't seem to be working. Fun fact, by the way. Call your cell phone, and then shit happens. Hello, big blob of dust thingies. What is this down here? There's something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. Did I check that before? Its use is unknown. Ooh. Ooh, I got a new thingy. I don't know what that did. But I like it. It's too dark to see anything. Maybe if I put the glow shard in there. Uh, no. No. Do another thingy. Well, I did that, but I think I have to turn them off. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. Well, all right. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Well, all right, I gotta turn them all off then. Uh, that does that. Well, there we go. That was easy. That was way too easy. Got any more puzzles and shit? I want to see more puzzles. Oh. 
Can you not do that? Hey, back off! Come any closer and I'll fist your butthole. Chris? Ugh. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. That we do. Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess, you get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Will do. If we have to do a violence, we're doing a violence. What, you want to make it a race? No. I just want to move on. I don't think she liked the fact that I was running automatically. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh, it's yo. That's not good. Run. Can do. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I like how the overworld's also part of the whole, like, bullet hell dodging mechanic. It's a nice touch. Done. Press down here! Okay, let's run. It's not a lot of running we're doing. Oh, God. No. You can stop that at any time. Just saying. Yeah. Okay, we're good. How did Susie get down super fast? I would like to know that. Also, what the hell's the glow shard for? Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? I do, because I already played this before. I just wanted to see if there was any difference between the Switch version and the not Switch version. Looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I would have loved to see what the town's like. This place reminds me of Halloween Town. A little bit. Is the whole town square thing. And the whole ev the whole Tim Burton-esque art style that's going on here. I like it. Never really noticed it before, I don't think. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside of a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Can that be alarmed? I'm not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Are we gonna... Ah, uh, It's Floof Boy! Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. You're Xehanort? Are you saying you're Xehanort? Chris? Susie? There's a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space and summon the Keyblade. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Sure. Very well, then. We're gonna listen to it again, even though I know what it is. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of... Delphoran! For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. I, why is nothing like in all caps right now? Then her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, Three heroes will appear at World's Edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains.
and do what? And banish the angels heaven. Only then will balance be restored. And the world saved from destruction. Today, the fashion of darkness! The geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the center of the kingdom. It sounds pretty metal. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. It looks... It, it sounds pretty metal, yo. A fountain of darkness. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It only took, like, what, three minutes? It's not super long. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. But despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Tell the warriors. Please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the, the world will be swallowed in darkness. <laughs> so what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. And it'd be kind of fun, honestly. And think of all the money I save on bills. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play, want to play a pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm gonna go find a way out of here. Susie, wait. Oh. <laughs> the heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm. The bad guy. You clowns. Wanna deal out wanna see a lot dark fountain. Huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness. Huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's the only way home. But I let's uh, What led you go there? And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? I agree with the statement. Let's do it. Halt, clowns! This spike is fueled by victory. Sure it is. There we go. I love to get thrashed. Just kidding, that's you. Ah, shit. Eh. Sorry, Susie. Didn't mean to get you smacked there. So what are you guys doing after this? None of your damn business. So I haven't really participated in the whole fighting thing before, and it doesn't matter because we don't actually kill anybody. So everyone's just running away despite how violent we're being. It's fine. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Fluffy boy! I wanna hug him. I will not assault him. I'll protect him. With my life food. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're gonna become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. Stay at school, Chris. Oh, they're off. She's off. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. I'm fine with it. You're a cool kid. You're a cool person. Chris, I... I'm a prince. But I am currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. I hope so too. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. 
You can lead the way, Chris. Okay. I only think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. I would love that. I would actually love that. But first, I'm going to save. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Yes! Okay. Maybe I can call somebody now. Nope, still glitching out. Okay. Didn't think it would do that, but whatever. It's probably the darkness fountain interfering with everything. I'm gonna end the episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrone and Leviel for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you to Whirlybird, Zarina Burrito, Dark Castle, and 3DS Master Gaming for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!